Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how your students can use Google Slides to create choose your own adventure stories. Let's jump right into it. So you'll see here I have set up my choose your own adventure story and I've written out the parts of my story in slides. Let's take a look at my first slide. So it, the story begins with, one morning I woke up and set out to complete a few errands. My dogs came along with me for my errands. We had to go to the bank, the post office, and then to the farmer's union to get some chicken feed. So from here, I can now highlight any of the words and link them to another part of the story, or I can highlight the image and link the image to a part of the story. So let's start with we had to go to the bank. So we're going to highlight the bank, select insert link, and we'll choose a slide and we'll use the one that says at the bank and apply that. And I'll do the same for post office. Choose a slide and select at the post office. And then I'll do the same for Farmers Union. Choose a slide that says Farmers Union on it. Now, I'm going to show you the next part of my story. If someone chooses the bank, they'll end up here where my story goes, we withdrew $37 from our savings account so we could buy stamps at the post office and feed and chicken feed at the post at the farmer's union. While we were there, we ran to Bob, who was getting money so that he could buy supplies for the barbecue he was hosting later that day. Bob, being the nice guy that he is, invited us to join him. Should we join him now or get back to our schedule for the day? So this is where you can start to build in different paths in the story. I'm going to say, join him now i'll highlight that insert a link choose slides in the presentation and the slide we're going to jump to is bob's barbecue if we're not going to join him we want to get back to our schedule we'll say get back to our schedule highlight that insert the link and we're going to go to the slide number two, which is our beginning point of the story. So now let's take a look at how a student would view this. You can share it and say anyone with a link has access to it. By the way, I'll link up the link to this little story down below in the description of this video. Or when it's presented, and we'll present it this way. Student is toggling through and looks at the first part. All right, we had to go to the bank, to the post office, and then to the farmer's union. Let's start by going to the bank. We'll click on it. So should we join Bob now or get back to our schedule? If we join him now, we're now on that part of the story. Now to get out of this part of the story, I'm going to need to have another link. And in this case, the story goes, we hung out for a bit to be polite, then went back to our plan for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna highlight back to our plan for the rest of the day. And as you might guess by now, I'm going to link to the slide that has the beginning of the story on it so we can get back to our day. So now when we present this, It'll go like this. One morning I woke up to complete a few errands. We had to go to the bank, the post office, the farmer's union. Click on the bank. Should we join him now or get back to our schedule? If we join him now, we'll read this part. Then went back to our plan for the rest of the day. Takes us back there. Likewise, we could now go to the post office. Right. And in this part of the story, it says at the post office, we met our friend Sue, who invites us to the dog park. Now, 
we need to include the link to the dog park. So, I'll highlight that part, insert that link with our slide to the part that says at the dog park and apply it there. So now if you're looking at this at the dog park, if you're presenting it, we see we're now at the dog park and to get out of this dog park slide, of course we need to build in another link and here I'll link to Farmers Union. So I'll select slides in the presentation and Farmers Union. So now back to the beginning. We're looking at this story. We could start at any place we want. We go to the post office. At the post office, we ran into Sue. And we headed off to the Farmers Union afterwards. Now, again, you can build in as many slides and as many directions and variables as you would like in the story. When it comes to sharing the story, as I mentioned, you can share a direct link to it. You could also try embedding it into your classroom website or classroom blog or posting it in Google Classroom. Now, your options for the number of variables you can add is almost limitless. So try it out. It can be a fun way to have students do some writing. And as you can see here, of course, they can put in pictures as well. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.